Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and fans of the Chicago White Sox. My heart goes out to you. We are here to talk about the season so far for the Chicago White Sox through uh, 52 games. And at 52 games, the comparison that I have been making in the past and will continue to make throughout the season until the White Sox can pull away from that is to the 62 Mets at game 52. And as it so happens, both teams had the same record at game 52. The White Sox are 15 and 37 and that is exactly what the 62 Mets were. Now the difference, there's a difference in the runs a lot, runs scored and runs allowed. The White Sox have scored 153 runs, and they have allowed 264, which is a negative 111 run differential. The Mets, however, at this point had scored 210 runs, but they had allowed 302. So their pitching and defense, the Mets, that is to say was much worse than the White Sox, although that is hard to imagine. But their offense was much better. They had much better hitting. In fact, I had a viewer tell me that uh, he thought that the 62 Mets team was a more exciting, uh, more fun team to watch um, and track and just in general, than the than the 1963 Mets, who won 50 games. The 1963 Mets actually won eight more games, but they scored fewer runs and they weren't as exciting a team to watch. There is nothing exciting about the White Sox. Watching the White Sox, no, that's there's nothing exciting about that at all. So let's go down some stats here. Um, the uh, average leader for the White Sox uh, for at bats for you know using uh, at bats as you know whatever that they could qualify for the batting title is Sheets and he has a 241 average. Um, Paul DeYoung has seven home runs. He leads the team in home runs. Vaughn has uh, 18 RBIs and that leads the team. And uh, Shoemake is leading the team in stolen bases with only five. And uh, so let's go down here. Uh, OPS. Uh, so let's go to the, let's go to the pitching. Um, Fetty leads the team in ERA. He has a three ten ERA. Uh, Crochet leads and wins. He only has five wins, and he leads the team. Um, he also leads in strikeouts with 74. Kopech leads in saves with five. Now, Crochet has a 0 0.95 whip, which is actually extremely good. That's, that's good. Crochet and Fetty are actually two bright spots on this White Sox pitching staff. And uh, the, probably the reason why they haven't given up nearly as many runs as the 62 Mets did. Um, Crochet has allowed a 197 batting average. And uh, Fetty has, leads the team in innings pitched with 58. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll. You get the idea. Bad team. Very bad. So the, um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing good to say about that. Now, let's see here. Because you can see, and here's the standings, 15 and 37, a 288 win percentage, uh, 19 and a half games out. We're already, we're just 52 games into the season, and we're already 19 and a half games out. We're 10 and 16 at home. 5 and 21 on the road, lost our last 3 and we're 3 and 7 in our last 10. So, um let's see. 
Yeah, let, now let's go to the National League because I know that we were talking before about how bad the Marlins are, but you can see the Marlins are three games better, or roughly, um, roughly three games better. Um, and the Rockies are at least two games better, something in that neighborhood. So those are the other two teams that we were tracking against the 62 Mets, but they are actually outpacing the 62 Mets. Um, so that's, you know, that's where we are. Um, so the White Sox are the worst team in baseball. They have the same record as the 62 Mets had at the comparable game that they're at right now, game 52. And the White Sox have a game today against the, the uh, Orioles. They've lost the previous two to the Orioles, and they play the Orioles again. And uh, as you can see, the Orioles are not to be trifled with. So, <laughs> so I expect the Orioles to, um, to beat them in Game 3 and finish off the sweep. Um, and by the way, if they do that, they would still be tied with the 62 Mets. Yes, they would still be tied with the 62 Mets because the Mets had lost their next game as well. So, uh, yeah, that's just a comparison to talk about the White Sox. I'll be doing it throughout the season. Um, it's, again, a historic season. In some ways, I should be glad that they're doing this because... If you're not going to be good enough to go to the playoffs or you are not going to be good enough to win the World Series, you might as well be bad enough to have a historically bad season. And again, they're not as bad as the 18-whatever Spiders, uh, Cleveland Spiders, but that was, a, that was a different thing. First of all, it was a different era of baseball. Um, and, and it was in different reasons. The, uh, the Spiders were owned by a guy who owned the uh, another team in the league, and he just robbed every good player from the Spiders and put them on his other team. So that's not the situation the White Sox are in, although um, one might question. But they are 15-37 and 37 and worst in baseball. So leave your comments below. Give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. It helps me out and um, lets me know that people like my content, which um, is uh, something I want to know. Uh, but other than that, that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.